Okay, Jamie, thank you. Nearly six months have passed since a local husband, father, brother seemingly vanished without a trace. Roberto Noni Herrera is listed among the hundreds of adults who go missing every month here in Southern Nevada. But unlike most who voluntarily leave home, some members of Noni's family insist his absence can mean only one thing. My team reporter Colleen McCarty examines the disappearance. Dave, these missing persons cases, they're, oh, they're, they're always heart-wrenching, right? Mm -hmm. but this one unfolds a little bit more like an unsolved mystery. Noni Herrera had an average suburban life with a loving wife, two beautiful boys, and a close-knit extended family living nearby. Yet one day in May, that American dream ended, and his family's nightmare began. Hi, guys. This is my brother. In the faces of the forgotten, want a flyer? sisters Mari yeah, Fernandez and Rita Williams search for the familiar. It's my brother. He's been missing for about five months. Heriberto Noni Herrera. If you see him, tell him to call home. His sisters are out here looking for him. This family the life itself. And he loved us sisters very much. And that's why this is so hard, Colleen, because I know he, he would not put us through this pain. The Herrera siblings are a tight-knit group, sewn together by the loss of their parents at a young age. Yet in the weeks leading up to Noni's disappearance, his sisters noticed a distance forming between them. What concerns me is my brother, was he manipulated? Well, I mean, why would he be separated from his family? that's been there forever. Noni confided he sought inpatient treatment for a psychotic episode. Newly diagnosed mental health issues his wife confirms prompted her to take the children and leave. On the morning of May 14th, the stay-at-home dad reported them missing to police, then drove unannounced to his sister Mari's workplace. These surveillance images capture Noni as he discovers his sister isn't there. I was finally able to reach him at his home and um, he told me that he was looking for me to let me know that Johanna had just left him and took the boys with her. He was upset. He said it had been a long night. Noni, she says, planned woke, passed without a word. Police records reveal officers saw Noni around 3 p.m. when his wife returned to their home in the lakes for some belongings. By 4 o'clock, Mari's calls to the house go unanswered. Absolutely, we need a lead. Metro Police I Lieutenant said, Rob Lundquist is supervising the missing persons investigation. Class. We want to, number one, find out where this person's at and, and also what happened to this individual, whether he left on his own or whether, you know, and, and chose to start over somewhere else or, or something, something actually happened to him. Noni's wife, Johanna Blake, seen here in pictures she provided to the I-Team, says she found about $2,000 in cash, financial records, passports, and credit cards missing from the couple's home. Yet not a single transaction has appeared. Instead, the first break in Noni's case came from a place his family says he never visited, Mount Charleston. For him to drive, to allegedly drive that vehicle to Mount Charleston is not making sense to any of us. No. He does not like to go to the mountains. We do not visit the mountains. Police found Noni's SUV abandoned near the Trail Canyon Trailhead some two weeks after his disappearance. Locals reported it had been parked there for some time. Inside, police find a suitcase, Noni's medication, and some water, according to his wife, but no sign of the missing financials or of any foul play. A police search of the mountain that day, followed by subsequent volunteer efforts have thus far uncovered no sign of Noni. Noni would never walk away, no matter how stressed he was, no matter what was going on. And for him not to contact any family member, something is not right. He's not missing on his own free will. Hey, guys. Yet his sisters can't stop looking. He's been missing for five months as of yesterday. Each week, they scan the faces of the forgotten. We know deep down inside that he's not out here. Hoping against hope, they'll find their brother staring back. Thank you. Thank you for your blessings. If you have any information about Noni's whereabouts, and remember, what may seem minor to you may be a critical lead to police, please contact Metro's missing persons detail at the number on your screen. That's 828-2907. Oh, just a lot of pieces here, that, and then none of them fit right. Right. I mean, yeah. best case scenario, I've got a guy who maybe had two grand on him. It's been six months, and he hasn't used a single credit Correct. card, right? The car's up on the mountain. He didn't go there. He's walking around with the mm. blue cast. No one sees him up there. Mm. 
and he's got these two little boys who were his whole life. Have police even uttered the word homicide or death investigation? No, they no. say no evidence okay. of any foul play. Thanks, Colleen. Mm -hmm.